So somewhere between there, we got Zabrowski, we got da oh. Oh. <laughs> da da da! <laughs> that mother! All right, boys, we are back, and it's time to head into the draft for year number one. I wanted to ask you guys what we should do with the draft because this is a big day, big decisions to be made. I gave you guys a few options here on the website. Number one, being patient at the draft. Use the three picks that we have, the first and the two seconds. Trade away David Leguan for some more picks and basically keep the same roster for next year. We had a good year. It was a bad first round, but we had a decent year. So come back with an older, hopefully a better team next year. Uh, number two, aggressive. I can improve the roster right now. Basically trading away first and second round picks along with roster players for younger in their prime players who can directly influence our team for next year that would be very aggressive or rebuild trade for top five picks using key players such as Bobby Ryan Kyle Turris uh, uh, Eric Carlson and Mark Stone if you want quality you have to give up quality I, I saw a lot of comments saying Johnny go after Connor McDavid go after Jack Eichel well if I'm gonna go if I'm gonna go after these guys I have to give up you know key roster players and I don't know if I want to do that and I also had another just for uh, you guys if you had any other suggestions, right? So we had the vote, and it seems like most of you guys wanted me to be patient. Use the three picks that we already have, trade away David like one, and come back next year and try again, all right? But we still have some individual comments here. Remember, the vote is just for me to see what you guys are thinking. It's not the guaranteed decision that I'm going to go with, right? So the comments, Johnny, you have eight draft picks this year, and the team's... And teams seem to want your crappy prospects. You need to be aggressive but patient. Aggressive but patient. Oh, a combination. You shouldn't trade up for a top five, but maybe trade up for a top ten while staying in the top 25. So keep the first and then use the two seconds with leg one, I guess, to move up into the top ten. Then you can get one good and Dadanov. Oh my god, yeah, I knew it, man. As soon as Dadanov popped up, I knew that was going to be the thing. And of course, all your freaking comments. Uh, we'll get to that in a second. Plus, when you were the GM in Arizona, you said you would take two great players over one outstanding player. You could draft a defenseman and someone to go in your tops or with your top six forwards. All right, so this guy's basically saying, be patient, but use leg one with the two seconds to get a top 10 pick as well as your 25th overall pick or 21st overall pick, whatever we said it was in the last video, right? So that kind of makes sense. I'll take that into consideration. Next one, try to trade up in the draft. Maybe pair your first and a second with a debt player or two and move up to the top 10. So here's somebody else suggesting to move up to the top 10. I know you guys really want me to get a uh, a top-notch prospect, right? But at what, po at what team would trade away their top 10 pick for David Leguan at this point, right? I mean, I'm looking to trade away David Leguan to a contender for next year, not somebody who finished in the bottom 10 this year. That's kind of a hard thing to do. Next comment, be patient. Since the draft is so strong, you could easily draft a great player, but maybe trade Leguan and or MacArthur for another good pick. All right, so that's that's more of what I'm thinking. Trade away David Leguan, see if we can find a team that would be willing to unload a second round pick for David Leguan, all right? Maybe a late first round pick for David Leguan if we tie it in with a second. That could happen as well. Um, I'm just speculating at this point. Next and last, be patient. This is a strong draft. Your prospect pool is weak, so you definitely shouldn't trade away the picks. Your team is still good enough to make the playoffs next year, and at that point, anything can happen. You should know that already. Plus, you never plus you never know if a good free agent will be there to improve your team. That's true. Anze Kopitar in uh, Arizona. We haven't got to free agency just yet. As for the potential picks in the draft, don't trade up for the first or second pick. It isn't realistic at all. Good draft picks would get uh, good draft picks to get would be Rat Ratanen, Bittner, Bittner or Bittner, Bittner or Dadanov. All right, so yeah, we all know Dadanov. You guys went crazy in the comments with Evgeny Dadanov. All right, so. Seems like the majority of you guys uh, kind of agree that we should take our time with the draft, but you guys at the same time also want me to move up to get a better draft pick, all right? So I can kind of maybe find a compromise there. So I'll go back to the scouting report. Again, I don't know where our draft pick is. It's somewhere between 20 and 25, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, all right? So somewhere between there. Now, if we wanted to move up, say, to the top, not top 10, but between 20 and uh, 11, let's say. It's these ones. 
And there are, I mean, Matthew Barzell, Travis Connick. Ooh, that would be a good one. Considering he played for Ottawa, the uh, Ottawa 67s or something like that. Oh, man, I'm going to... I'm going to get lynched for uh, <laughs> not saying that. Ottawa 67. You know what? Hang on one sec. i got to figure that out if that's right. Haha, <laughs> I was right. It was Ottawa 67s, all right? So we could get ourselves a uh, Travis Konecki if we move up. What is he going? Hang on a second here. Top 10. Now, these aren't counting the goalies, but 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. He's 18, all right? Could be 19 or 20 with all the goaltenders in there. So, yeah, I could, I could, you know what? If you're thinking about David Leguan trading up to, say, the 18th or 19th overall pick with Leguan in a second, that would be possible because a team with that draft pick would be a playoff bound team, right? And they're getting a second round pick back for the first. They're just moving down and they're bringing in David Leguan. That would make sense to move up to get a guy like Konecki, Barzell. All right. But the top 10 guys, like Eichel, McDavid, Hannafin, Strom, Yan, Marner, Kylington, I just don't see it happening. What team would trade away Leguan? I would have to give up some younger piece like Stone or Hoffman, and I'm not prepared to do that. Okay. So I think we can find a compromise with moving up in the draft and maybe giving up one of our second round picks, all right? So, have we done everything? Yeah, you know what? We're pretty much ready to go, so let's get right into it, all right? Draft day, year one, the Ottawa Senators, they're not on the clock just yet, but the draft day has started, all right? So here we go. 26th! Oh, for fuck's sake! So what the hell? Edmonton! Oh my god. Right, 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 because the Pittsburgh Penguins, I, I was going to say there for a second, Edmonton didn't win the Stanley Cup, no, 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 they got the 30th overall pick and the third pick because the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins, right, so what must have happened, because we didn't finish that high up in the, uh, during the regular season, I mean, it was okay, but what must have happened was the, the top teams that finished ahead of us, they got to the final four, because the final four, are the last four picks in the draft, right? So there must have been the teams that finished ahead of us during the regular season that finished in the top in the final four. I thought we might be as high as 21 or 22. 26! Well, good. Evgeny Dadanov might be not might might not be a possibility this uh this time, boys. Thank God. I don't want to draft that goofball McGundy. Alright, so let's get to it. Oh man, 25. 26. That's rough. Alright, the good thing is that we got two phones. So I'll show you guys. Let's see what kind of uh, trade value we got here. So Turris, no. Lazar, no. Zabinijad, no. Peugeot, no. Uh, Wingles, no. Smith, no. Legwan is the one that we can trade. And other than that, no one with trade value, right? So we'll get Legwand out there. Let's just see what kind of trading assets we have. MacArthur, he's coming back one more year. Uh, Pumpol, no. He's not going anywhere. Hoffman, no. Greening, I could trade Greening, but he's got no trade value. And he's got one year left. And he's good depth for an injury, right? So no point in trading away Colin Greening. Uh, Ryan, no. Stone, no. Shiesan, no. Uh, uh, Chris Neal, I couldn't even trade away Chris Neal if I wanted to. He could stay on the team. Eric Condre, he's another depth player, and I can't trade him away anyways. Defenseman, Carlson, no. CC, no. Weirkoch, no. Uh, Braun, no. Mathot, no. Phillips, I could trade away, but I think we, we already determined this in the last video. I think Chris Phillips should definitely retire with the Ottawa Senators. He's been uh, here since the beginning, right? And he's only got a little bit of trade value, so you know what? Chris Phillips is going to stay. And then... This goaltender, you know, I do have a trading asset in this goaltender. Let's see. Yeah, we talked about him before. Three three green star. I wouldn't mind holding on to him just to see what kind of goaltender he becomes. But if I need an extra asset to trade here, he's got three years left so I can do it. And uh, I won't have to worry about it because Robin Lehner is only two years older. And he's got, like, he's our goaltender of the future. This guy is not going to. He could be a backup maybe in the future. I've seen backups get to that. But if I need to, I can throw him in there to help it out, all right? So, it's really only David Leguan. Let's see what teams would be available to take David Leguan. All right, so the Detroit Red Wings would. They wouldn't mind getting David Leguan. Did he play there before? I think he did play there before. All right, so 21st overall. That would make sense. Now, would that go through? Now, see, I don't think that would go through. There's no way that would go through, actually. No, there's not. And there's no other trading assets that we could add on. But we could add on a second. A second and Leguan might go through, okay? So I would be willing to make that compromise. But before we do that, let's just go through and check out all the other teams. So Detroit wants leg one. I want to try and make this realistic. So I'm only going to trade him to the teams that want him. All right. So Detroit, oh man, Detroit might be the only one. Uh, and Washington. All right. Washington. And that's it. All right. So Washington and Detroit. Where's Washington's pick? 18. Oh, that's Travis Konecki. Oh, this is working out perfectly. Uh, all right. There you go. Uh, but Detroit was easier to trade with because they had a roster spot. So this is going to be a little bit harder to put through. I'd rather get the Washington uh, pick 
Um, personally, just because, first of all, Detroit is in our division, so I don't want to trade Leguan to Detroit, face him in the first round or something like that, right? Um, trade him to Washington, face him in the Eastern Conference Finals. That wouldn't be a bad thing, though, because to get there would be awesome anyways. The 18th pick is better than the 21st pick. It's also more valuable, though, so do they want second-round picks? I don't think Detroit wanted second-round picks. No, they didn't because they were trading them away. All right, so Leguan... Let's see. Oh, man, that's tough. That's a, that's a tough trade right there. I don't know if that will go through. I really don't. Now, I have some time here because I'm not going to be able to trade for another first-round pick. So I could try this. It's just the second that they don't want. It really doesn't add up. All right, so I'm going to try something else here. I'm going to put the second, but I'm going to add in my three sevenths, all right? Seventh-round pick. Even though it's year one, there's nobody in the seventh round. So Leguan, a second, and three-sevenths for the 18th overall pick. I think this is realistic because they want him, and they're getting a, a draft pick back this year. They're just dropping down in the second round, all right? You got to give up a little bit to get David Leguan. Good depth player for their run next year. So let's see. Will it go through? David Leguan and a second with three-sevenths for the 18th overall pick, and this guy's just a, uh, a roster player. Will it go through? No, it did not. All right, so I figured. All right, I can't mess around with the second one now. We definitely got to get this to go through. So that goaltender, yeah, that goaltender. I could go with Detroit, but I think I I want the 18th. Detroit was 21st. Travis Konecki was 18. He could drop to 21. Ah, let's try to get the 18. Let's try to get the 18. All right, so goaltenders. Do they want this goalie at least? Let's see. Uh, goalies, do they want the goalie? They don't want the goalie, which is not good. I'll throw him in there. Do they have another goaltender? Oh, perfect, perfect. Oh, perfect. They have a goaltender here. There you go. I'll take this guy instead of this guy. Even though he's got two years left, it's because they want to give him up. He's got no trade value and he's got no salary, so I'll just retain that crappy contract for a year. That's fine. All right, but there's Dreger helping out. He'll give a little bit more trade value to this. All right, now let's go back and get uh, Leguan in there, and then we're going to have to bring back that other player. Hang on a second here. Skaters. O'Brien. There you go. So we're bringing on two contracts here that are meaningless. All right. So Leguan Dreger. And now we're going to have to add in that second. Should I ha should I add in the higher second? I want to give him the later second. I want to take that 43rd, right? Let's see here. Uh, thing is, last time he didn't say anything about uh, it being close or anything, right? It's just, ooh, it's, this is close. This is close. Uh, you know what? Because Clark MacArthur could be traded next year, I'm going to give up a third for next year as well. All right. I want this pick. This is me overextending a little bit because I know you guys want to see me move up in the draft. All right. But this is also me being patient and not giving up too much of the future. The third round pick for next year is the ball breaker. But we have Clark MacArthur next year, and it seems like if we're not a successful team, we're going to be dumping off a few more veterans. Even Chris Neal, I can sign a bunch of these older players whose contract are up this year to two-year deals so that we can trade them away next year and get back into the third-round pick somewhere else. All right, We already have a first and a second, and if we have two firsts, and a second this year, the first replaces the third. Yeah, it makes sense. It does make sense. All right, so... Yeah, we're losing a second, but we already have another second, so we're getting a first, and then third, we're losing leg wand, dragger. Yeah, okay, I'm fine with this. So, you guys, you can uh, pick this trade apart. I'm pretty sure it'll go through. Oh, you know what? Maybe not. Hoping it goes through. All right, dragger, leg wand, a second and a third for the 18th overall pick. Will it happen? Yes, it does. Oh, it just went through as well. On behalf of the Washington Capitals organization, I accept your trade offer. So, I'm glad I put that third in there. If I didn't, it wouldn't have gone through. All right, boys? So... I moved up in the draft. Jack Eichel! Oh! No fucking way. The New Jersey Devils went with Jack Eichel over Connor McDavid. And McDavid ends up in the Columbus Blue Jackets. Noah Hannafin to Edmonton. Now, hang on. Let's keep an eye on this. Will I be able to get Konecki? Oh, yeah, baby. Konecki, he dropped to 18. Perfect. So, hang on a second. Before we draft, let's see what's happened here. Strom to the Florida Panthers. Now they got Barkoff and Strom down the middle. Uh, I don't know McNiven. Marner to the Vancouver Canucks. Yan to Carolina. Uh, I'm just looking for the names that I know. Kylington to uh, Calgary Flames. Provorov to Winnipeg. That's a good pick for uh, Winnipeg right there. Uh, Borman to Dallas. All right, Jensen and Cruz. Also, the Toronto Maple Leafs got that big forward, Cruz. All right, Lawson Cruz. So 18 and 26, boys. So let's see here. Now, here's the question, all right? Okay, so I got Travis Konecki. 
Ottawa 67 player, center playmaker. Now, I already have Kyle Turris down the middle. I already have Mika Zabinijad. It'd be nice to have three, though, or another playmaker in there. Zabinijad's a two-way forward, right? Barzell's there. I don't want Barzell. Now, where is Dadanoff? Dadanoff is all the way down here, boys. So hang on a second. Let me back out. I have 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. There are seven picks between my 18th and 26. All right, so... Let's just say, for example, I draft uh, Konecki, all right? Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, it's going to be close, boys. They might draft up to get Dad enough. I don't know, but I think I can go with Konecki and Dad enough. A center and a right wing for the future. All right, so I'm going to do it. No defense, even though I could draft defense. I don't know too much about these guys. Austin Strand, Zabrowski, Zaboral. But I can trade for defense. No, you know what? I'm going to do it. Travis Konecki, Ottawa 67s, hometown boy. Got to do it, all right? Travis Konecki, welcome to the Ottawa Senators. Now, let's see. Is Evgeny Dadanov going to drop to the Ottawa Senators? Oh, oh, fuck. I wanted him drafted. I don't want him on the team. Holy shit. We're going to have to deal with it, boys. All right, so Jacob Zorber. Oh, maybe I should get a, uh, a left-handed uh, defenseman two ways. 18 years old. That'd be nice for the future, all right? Tyson Bailey, a two-way forward center. Evgeny Da. <laughs> oh, man. You know what, though? Everyone says that I don't listen to the comments enough. Fuck it. Evgeny Dadanoff, welcome to the Ottawa Senators. It's been done. <laughs> The Ottawa Sens have drafted Travis Konecki and Evgeny Dadanoff in the first round. Woo! It's a big draft, boys. That's a big draft, all right? So we're not going to make any more trades no matter what. Uh, yeah, yeah. I can I can manipulate the system by trading away some guys with some later picks to move up to a fourth or third, but I don't want to do that. Let's just draft it. We made our one trade, all right? So there's the second round. Now, I don't even know who we should get here. Let's see who's available. Maybe a defenseman. Maybe just go out and get a defenseman. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Yeah, so Nicholas Roy, center. Oh, my God, six foot five, power four. The only thing is we have enough centers now. I, tr I took Travis Konecki. Let's go for the... Okay, defenseman. Uh, OHL, Mississauga, offensive defenseman, Stefan LeBlanc. That makes sense to me. Let's just see. Uh, Ryan McKinnon. Is that Nathan McKinnon's brother? He's already 20, 20 years old. No, thank you. Uh, Vince Dunn. Uh, 18 years old, offensive defenseman from Niagara, Nicholas Malak. All right, these guys are getting down in the third round, though. I might be able to draft them in the third round. So let's just go with uh, Stefan LeBlanc, all right? Six-foot offensive defenseman. Works out for me because he's left-handed. Our only offensive defenseman right now is Eric Carlson. It'd be a nice to get another one. Stefan LeBlanc, all right? So a center, a right wing, and a left defenseman we've drafted it so far. Pretty good, pretty good. Building up the prospects. All right. And right, we don't have a third round pick this year. Is there anything that we can do to move up to get the third? Hang on. Let's just see if there's anything. All forwards. Just show you guys what I mean by the trade value. Just, I'm not going to trade away any of these guys. And then there's a little bit. Colin Green, he's got a little bit. But I, I no point. Bring him back for some depth. And Chris Phillips, I could trade him for a third, but no, he's going to come back for one more year. So we just don't have any more draft picks. We'll just draft with four, five, and two sevens. All right. Nothing, nothing to be had, nothing to be made. We got the two firsts, which ended up being one of our thirds this year. All right, so there you go. We're not going to make any trades. Let's just keep on going. All right, so let's see who's available here. Uh, I already got a right winger, another defenseman. It wouldn't be a bad idea to get young defensemen, yeah, or like two-way forwards or grinders this late. Like, players that you're not expecting too much out of. All right, so there's no real grinders right away. Let's get the defenseman. Here we go. He's 20. I don't want a 20. Here we go. Off Another offensive defenseman, but he's 17 years old. We'll grab him. All right, nice young defenseman. He can stay in our minors for a while. Good thing about young players is they got uh, the trade value skyrockets. Not skyrockets, but it goes up a little bit higher just because it, uh, it tells how young they are. So they have a better chance of reaching their higher potential. Uh, Riley Sheen, uh, Ethan Bear, there we go, right-handed two-way defender, 17 years old, yeah, I'll take that. So we're getting some young defensemen that hopefully beca can become top six defensemen of the future. There you go, skip that, all right, and round number seven, the last round, we'll quickly just get this out of the way. Don't worry, we're going to get up to free agency in this video. I'm not going to sign any free agents, I want you guys to chime in again. Uh, all right, let's see if we can find any grinders at this point. Any grinder, sniper, defensive defenseman, grinder. There we go. Gr let's get some uh, grinders. Rick Pedersen. There you go. And, you know, we didn't draft any goaltenders. 
Can I grab it? You know what? Screw it. We won't grab it. Gold tended this late. Look for another grinder or enforcer. Let's see. Man, there's nothing. They've all been taken. Yeah, no, they've all been taken. So I'll just grab somebody at the top here. All right, hang on a second here. Who should we grab? Sniper, playmaker, two-way defender, defensive defenseman. There you go. So a bunch of uh, defensemen late because we took a bunch of forwards early, all right? And there you go. There is the 2015 draft for the Ottawa Senators. So I know you guys are going to want to see uh, uh, Connor McDavid and, uh, and uh, Jack Eichel. So we'll go through all the... The only problem is is that when you actually create rookies like that, they don't show up as rookie skaters. So I'm going to have to just go through each individual team and show their potentials. It's all right. We'll take our time with this. Hang on one second. All right, so let's get to the re-sign stage, go through all the other teams, take a look at the potentials, get our team signed, all right? And uh, we'll come back for, yeah, we'll take a look at our potentials after. So Philadelphia, they got Daniel Sprung. We're just going to take a look at the main guys, all right? So if anyone doesn't fall into this category, oh, well. Malak, all right, I actually could have drafted Malak. That would have been a good one. He was late. Um... Smith, I don't know who that Smith guy is. Let's see, Jacob Smith, four star. Uh, Chaddock, four star. St. Louis, Tampa Bay, Breeze Bois, four star. Cruz, all right, so the Toronto Maple Leafs, they got a good little player there. Not a little player, a big player. 73 overall with four star, left, a left wing power forward, not bad. Uh, Mitch Marner, all right, woo, Mitch Marner. That's a pretty good draft pick for the uh, Vancouver Canucks. I think I only made him th uh, four green stars, so he must have jumped up. Damn, Vancouver, that's sweet for you. Uh, Washington, all right, looks like that. Winnipeg, all right, Provorov. Yeah, that's a good draft pick for the Winnipeg Jets right there. Have both of their defensive blue line there for the future. Uh, Anaheim, no. Nope. Arizona, let's see here. Sorella, could have drafted him. Uh, Boston, all right, two, four gold star potential players. Buffalo, Guess they didn't have a top pick this year. Calgary, all right, Kylington, they got a good one. Uh, Carolina, all right, Yan, there you go. That's not a bad one. A little bit low overall, but I'm sure he'll get better. Chicago, Colorado, they got, uh, oh, they drafted Ryan McKinnon. So they got Nathan McKinnon and Ryan McKinnon on the same team. Very nice. Uh, Columbus, all right, there he is. So Connor McDavid drafted second overall. My God, this guy, he's probably pissed off. But then again, he gets to play in Columbus and not New Jersey, so maybe that's a good thing for him. So Ryan Johansson and Connor McDavid. So going to have to watch out for him. I'm surprised that uh, New Jersey took him first. I mean, Connor, remember that, all right? Connor McDavid, 85-18, five goals. <laughs> Scouting in this game is all over the place. Uh, Detroit, all right, looks like that. Edmonton, Noah Hannafin, holy shit. There you go. Noah Hannafin got four and a half green star. That's a great pick for Edmonton. I don't think I made it four and a half green star. These these rookies, man, they must their potential changed a little bit. Dylan Strom, yeah, that makes sense for them. It's a good draft pick. I want to get to the New Jersey Devils, man. New Jersey with the first overall pick, Jack Eichel. All right, uh, Nashville. There you go. New Jersey, there you go. See what I mean? I made Connor McDavid much better. Jack Eichel, he's 80 overall. He, you know what it is. Yeah, he's got the five gold star. No, I gave him five gold. Yeah, I gave him five gold. But I wanted to make Connor McDavid much better in year one, so that's why I made him 85 overall. 80 overall is still fantastic. But they took Jack Eichel over Connor McDavid. All right. Maybe they just wanted the American over the Canadian, being an American team. Who knows? All right. So Islanders. All right. Looks like that. Rangers looks like that, uh, Vishnevsky, and back to Ottawa. All right, so we've gone through the teams. You guys can let me know any specific uh, rosters that you want to see. I know I didn't show you the goaltenders, but I will. All right, so Andrew Hammond's got to get a contract. Let's see what our contracts are like now. All right, what are we on? One, two, three, four. Three for Carlson, four, five, six, seven, seven for Bobby Ryan. So four for Carlson, one, two, three. Three, three for Carlson, sorry. And seven for Bobby Ryan. Is that it? Really? Is that, uh, what about here? Mathot and Braun. All right, five, six years. So, yeah, seven basically for uh, for Bobby Ryan, but three for Eric Carlson. So, I think three for Andrew Hammond would be a good bet right now. Yeah, there you go. Oh, he actually wants to jump up a little bit more. Two years is actually good for Andrew Hammond. There you go. I think I can get him as low as uh, four mil. We do have to save some money with our contracts, so uh, definitely try to get them as low as I can. Tim Thomas, we're going to release you. And Hog Hogberg, we're going to release you. There you go. So we're going to have to sign a few goaltenders. Defenseman, Hal Gill, we're going to release you. Don't need you for depth this year. Uh, Johnson, you know what? I can just release all these guys. Year one, we got a lot of these guys. Yeah, release you. Uh, release you. Release you. Uh, Grant, no, he's 26. Release you. Uh, Clayson. See, the thing is, Ottawa, I know there may be some young prospects here, but I just know two and a half, three 
gold star. They're not going to turn out to be anything for us. So I'll release you. Just don't want these guys on the team. I want to free up my roster. All right, there you go. And there is a bunch of our young our young defensemen that we drafted, all right? So every single one of them, three and a half star. This guy is uh, red star. These guys are gold star. But uh, 64 overall, 53, 56, 17, 17, 19 years old. It's just about building the prospect pool for the future. That way we actually have some trading assets, all right? So I won't give any of these a contract just yet. They don't need it. Uh, right wingers, all right. Let's see here. Right wingers. Chris Neal, I want to resign Chris Neal, but I'll wait. Eric Condra, I want to resign. I'll wait. Chason, I want to resign. What do you want? Uh, three years? Yeah, I'll give you a three years. Same as Eric Carlson. A little bit of money. That's okay. Three years at 1.35. That works for me. Uh, Mark Stone. Now, let's see. Let's see what the contract says. Now, that's good for me. If he's on eight years, he's going to turn out to be... Looks like he's going to be an official second line forward for the foreseeable future. Maybe he gets a bump or something like that, right? But at least he'll turn out to be a second line forward. So, that's good. So, we'll go three years with him as well. Get a nice low contract. All right. Because I don't know, he could stay at 84 overall his entire career. I don't want to sign him at 4 mil per year if he's only at 84. So we'll go three years at 2.50. Try to save some money for this first contract. Pedersen, Dadunov, there you go, boys. Evgeny Dadunov, 75 overall playmaker, 3.5 green star potential. Hope you enjoy that. Uh, should we re I don't know if I should sign him for this first year. Maybe I'll give him a, a year off or something. Get a little bit better down there in the minors. Left wingers, Hoffman. Let's see. Same kind of contract as a... Same kind of thing as a uh, Stone. So that's good between these two guys. So Hoffman's actually going to be making a little bit more than Stone year one. Or the first uh, three years. First contract. There you go. Uh, Thompson. No, nah, I don't need you. 71 overall. You're already at 25. No, don't need you. There you go. Uh, Lindbergh. He's 19, though. That's the thing. He's 19. He might be able to jump with the two and a half green star. It's different when they're that young. Um, Perron. All right. Is that it? Yeah, that's it for. And then centers. Travis Konecki. All right. So four green. I mean, four gold star potential. 63 overall playmaker. Not a bad little player right there. 70 for faceoffs. Again, hopefully he can just be some nice depth for the future and maybe, just maybe, turn out to be a second-line center if Zabinijad is uh, more of a third-line center because of his two-way status. All right, so Zabinijad, speaking of, we got to give this guy a contract. See what I mean about Zabinijad? Eight years, only 3.7. He could end up being just a solid second- or third-line center. And on a Stanley Cup-winning team, it would be a third-line center, right? Uh, so I'll go three years. Keep them all on three years. 2.750. Save some money. Uh, Pajot, definitely want to re-sign Pajot. Uh, three years, one-way deal. There you go. Uh, 0. 0.950. Camper, release you. Grant, release you. Uh, Pajot, okay, so I think we're good. The video is going to be a long one, boys, but this is why I didn't want to do the draft in the last video. I knew there was a lot of decisions to be made. But you can see our team is now set on the course. Same kind of roster coming back next year, but look at the amount of assets that we've put in, which will then allow us to make a trade maybe next year at the trade deadline if we're a good team again, just like we did with uh, Corey Perry back in Arizona, right? So we have just uh, oh, just over $9 million. So we got Chris Neal and Eric Condor. We can definitely resign Chris Neal now. It's not a problem. One year at 1.750. Very nice. And Eric Condra will bring back on a two-way deal for one year. There you go, 0.7. And then our rookies don't need to sign any of these guys. And I've got dad enough. You guys let me know. Should I re should I sign him to a contract? He's 18 years old. So if I let him play, you know what though? He could play in the AHL. So I don't think he'll get the chance to play in the AHL because uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll sign him though. He's already 75 overall. If he can play in the AHL, that's good enough to play. And he could become better as a second liner or something like that, right? So I'll definitely do it. So let's simulate here, and we got everyone good. All right, and we have just under $8 million of cap space to go out and make a trade or sign a free agent. Year number one, I don't know who's going to be available here, right? So we're going to end the video when I show you guys the free agency list, and that's basically going to be the setup for the next one. What should we do on this team? I want to come back and make the playoffs for next year. I don't want to sign any crazy veterans to some... Uh, uh, long-term contracts. Remember, we signed a bunch of our players to uh, three years at very good contracts for us. When those contracts are up, all of a sudden we got to ship out all that money, right? So we're going to run into cap problems. So goaltenders, looks like that. Don't really need any goaltenders. But I could uh, sign that Burt guy. There you go. Uh, UFAs, there you go. There's a few right there. 
26 years old though already, so that kind of doesn't make sense. Uh, defenseman. All right, you got uh, Jeff Petrie, McCallick, Gleason, Franzen, Ballard, Benoit, Vishnovsky, Regeer, Leopold, Hannon, Schlemko, Roosevelt, McBain, Morris. All right, so you've got plenty of defensemen that we could sign here for some depth, but remember cap space, all right? Uh, the better the defensemen, the more cap we got to shovel out to these guys. And forwards, Mike Fisher down the middle. I think we're already pretty good down the middle. Helm, Nielsen. Uh, Glenn Cross, uh, Bergenheim, Stewart, Matthias, Winnick. Here we go. We're starting to get in some good bottom six players. Remember, Legwan was gone, and he played bottom six wing for us before. Daniel Winnick might be a perfect uh, replacement. Look at that defensive awareness, shot blocking, and stick checking. Penalty killer, right? All that good stuff. Eric Fair, same thing. These are the kind of guys I got my eyes on, boys. Joe Ward, uh, uh, Jarrett Stoll, all right? This is how we make our team much better. We already have a top six. We already have a, a decent defensive core, maybe one or two, but I'd like to save my money. Remember, we only have less than $8 million, so two of these guys, you know, like a Fair and a Winnick or something like that, or a Matthias. It's definitely some good bottom six players that we can prove our roster with. So now that you've seen that, the way that I see our roster, if the season was to start today, Hammond and Laner. Don't need to get a goaltender. Defense, Carlson with Weirkoch. Hopefully he jumps. Uh, Mathot with Braun. Remember the defensive second line last year was fine. I don't want to change that. And then Cody CC. If he moves up to the top four, so be it. And then Cody CC plays with Chris Phillips. So actually, we really don't need a, need a defenseman. Maybe one just in case Chris Phillips starts to drop this year. So that's what I mean about a guy who's maybe $1 million, 81 82 overall, something like that. And then for the forwards, center core, Turris, Zabinijad, Smith, and Wingo and Lazar down the middle. We really don't need a center, all right? But wingers. I mean, Mac uh, MacArthur and Hoffman, there's the top six, right wing. And then Ryan and Stone, top six. So the top six is taken care of. But the bottom six wingers, you have Chris Neal, Shayson, and Condra. All right, no, 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 not the greatest. And then Greening, yeah, I'm, I'm saying it right here, boys. We could literally go out and get four bottom six wingers, and it would drastically improve our team. Now, we don't have enough money to get four wingers, so guaranteed one good one, and then maybe another one, and maybe a third, or three average ones. I don't know how you guys want to break it up, all right? So I think looking at next year, bottom six wingers is a must for us, so who should we sign? Let me know, boys, and I will see you in the next one.